Okay, for this next step is a little bit more complicated. We're using a function generator, which is just basically a fancy term for a uh, an oscillator, <clears throat> and we have it set to uh, 1k, and uh, you can uh, fine tune the frequency here. We're going to have it set it right to uh, 1,000 hertz, and uh, this top graph illustrates the uh, output from the function generator. It's a uh, uh, 1,000 cycles, and it's exactly at um, 400 uh, uh, millivolts. You see, each again, each in this case, each block represents 200 millivolts, and the line below is is going to represent the output from the GR700. Let's just uh, hit a string real quick, and uh, we can see that the GR700 needs to be tuned when these two waveforms are tuned together when we tune the GR700 it's, it's almost going to exactly sync up with the top waveform and it seems like it's just a little bit higher output as well we want this bottom line to be to have the same amount of output as the top one so let's uh, let's work on this procedure this is tuning and calibrating the output of the uh, voltage controlled filter so uh, each chip has four trimmers this is VR2 that controls the overall output level uh, this is VR4, it's the DC balance, and we're going to uh, adjust each voice for a minimum amount of clicking, and we do that with the DC balance. Uh, this one is your resonance control, and that's the amount of resonance, and we're going to uh, be adjusting in this next step the, um, the, the uh, resonance level, how much uh, resonance is, is output from the circuit, and then we have the uh, actual filter cutoff frequency, and we, with this particular chip, when you uh, turn up the uh, enough resonance, you get a feedback loop. The chip self oscillates, and then it's producing its own sine wave. And then by adjusting the cutoff frequency, you can tune that sine wave. And we're going to tune all these chips so that the uh, output frequency is exactly uh, 1 kilohertz for each chip. So uh, each chip will be voiced to sound the same. 